Hey guys, Des with the Shadow Ravens Clan, bring you a another war recap here. Uh, this is back when we were level five. So basically, what I do is I record some videos, and then eventually I will go back and look at them. So as you can see, new stars per attack. We were at 3.1, and they were at three. So uh, looked pretty good on paper. However, they didn't get 10 attacks in. So let's start off here uh, with Gref going against their number one. So what I do is I start off high and then I go low. So I'm starting off with number one. Uh, Gref's coming in here. Uh, and the goal on this attack is he's coming in from the bottom. He's trying to knock out that Archer Queen. So this is what's called a Cold Blood. He's uh, shoving in his heroes primarily to get that queen and then if he can knock out some of the clan castle great uh, but the biggest focus is the queen and as you can see the queen has oh, like a sliver of a hit point left so um, the cold blood portion of the attack actually failed however um, Gref's coming in from the top side straight across with the Laloon attack uh, four lava hounds. The rest is the balloon parade. As he's just left there to watch. And uh, and why this attack is so successful. Uh, as you can see, all of the troops, uh, all of the defensive buildings are right there around the town hall so the loons come down crash down on top of it and uh, make it for an easy victory for the uh, an easy extra star is what I'm trying to say Let's see, let's find another base here. And here we have Rojo versus uh, Brutalo. He's coming in with a Hogo. Uh, pretty strong Go Wee Wee portion. Drops his hounds, his whizzies, and then he's dropping his. Uh, witches as well uh, coming in then with the royals and as you can see he's actually without his king on this attack and uh, still does a pretty solid job there we'll see how this all plays out as the uh, royals are smashing down in the center here And I believe he had the two heals and two rage. Now, as you can see, he's got witches around that outside, uh, basically protecting that wizard as they go around. And then he's got a hog to clean up through the center, uh, which really helps things out. And as just fast forward through, um, he, he decimates the rest of that base. And sorry, I'm trying to donate a hound here. All right, now we get Wolfgar here taking on Raor. Again, this is a, a foreign clan, so. But anyway, he pulls the clan castle, takes down the bottom, and this is almost a full hog. <laughs> uh, he's got a, a golem and a few witches there. Now he's going to sacrifice that that golem uh, at least half of its health anyway to get the clan castle and then his mini go wee wee goes straight up from the bottom uh, which is kind of interesting because generally speaking you want to attack with the go wee wee portion where the double giant bombs could possibly be and those would be of course up top 
So you generally th you think anyway you'd want a, a strong go wee wee attack. However, the way the pathing is here, uh, there's two giant bombs nowhere. Uh, he sent out a couple hogs, so the the path wouldn't have to go in those top corridors. So as you can see, there's a double giant bomb there, and that pretty much takes out his hogs. Uh, so he misses the one corridor that has the double giant bombs, but he gets hit with the other one. Um, just so, so basically, you would say, "Oh man, this is a fail." However, it was enough damage, and we have enough of the witches left. Remember, this was a pretty light go wee wee attack. So with only four witches and eleven wizards, um, he ended up taking the rest of that base out. So just going through, see what three stars we have. And we have Kush uh, doing a Laloon. Uh, got some pretty weak air defense, level 6 air defense. And this is basically a step up from a Town Hall 8. They've got a level 6 queen and an extra level 6 air defense. And it looks like both crossbows are set to ground. So he comes in with his royals from the left hand side and just does a solid drop and he's coming straight up the middle uh, as you see the, how the balloon parade is starting to clump up a little bit which is what you don't really want um, you want a nice spread on those and they're gonna finish right where that queen is uh, they're coming right at her so luckily the hounds uh, are, are soaking up that damage uh, but if this is a little bit harder base, uh, this might be a fail. And the queen is still pounding away. And there pops the lava hound. And now she's firing at balloons, which is not good. Uh, hounds split a little bit there. Let's zoom in, see what they're hitting. And uh, the enemy queen is down. His queen is, is just following those pups and those minions around the outside of the base. Clean up some trash. We'll just fast forward it because we knew it ends up in a three star. Uh, but a little bit harder base and that might have been a fail. So you got to watch your technique on those. Rev had a good attack here against, again, another early Town Hall 8. Uh, of course, this guy put his crossbows in there, so it doesn't make him a, a eight and a half. Uh, but this is a solid a go wipe. I mean, he takes he's got his level one witches in there, um, and the reason why this is a good attack on um, for this base is, as you can see, the large open compartments. So we have some some little compartments um, beside the main compartment. But primarily, I'm just going to fast forward through this. Um, he's got some wizards on the bottom side clearing up the trash. But everything's basically firing inside. So those wizards on the outside just have a clear path just to take care of all those trash buildings. Um, and also, they're taking out some of the defenses too. Um, but the reason why this is still an effective strategy or whenever you're looking at a base that you say hey this is a go wee wee base you're looking for bases like this who have large open compartments so your client your troops can fire at a couple of the, the walls break through them without a problem and usually if there's witches towards the inside that'll kind of ruin or not witches um, wizard towers towards the inside um, that could really hurt things because your skellies really do damage on walls over time so it can really really help you out now we're going to jump down to a couple town hall eight attacks here i think got one or two uh this is ego he's gonna hog this town hall eight i mean and uh other than walls this base is pretty much maxed out uh level 10 king so what he does is he pulls a 
and of course you want to try to test the outside areas to see where the giant bombs may be nothing there we know we have a Tesla um, there in the center so he's gonna take out those clan castle troops then he's gonna he drops those hogs in front of his kill squad which is actually really good because uh, what it does is it it makes it so those hogs stay alive now look at this heel uh, right dead center uh, so it can get both sides as they get they split down the center they're gonna take out either side he's gonna then drop his two heels as they go around and again look at the heel placement right in front of those wizard towers so they're gonna end right where those wizard towers are and that's where we're gonna take the brunt of their damage and the, the reason why wizard towers are bad for hogs duh is simply because they hit you know many of them at one time so the hogs don't have many hit points left as you can see but they're they're all spread out they're taking out the rest of the garbage uh knocking down that barbarian king and we'll fast forward to the end as it is good game So uh, just to recap there, 68 attacks in versus 60. Sometimes whenever you um, you get so far 